but they disappeared once the uh, well the rain had broken out of the skin. You look down now. Uh -oh. uh, well, this is this is the iconic shot that we'll be uh, looking at in years to come. This will be packed to the rafters. I decided me. Of course, uh, the big question that everyone wants to be asked is, what is the weather going to be doing as you head towards there? <laughs> As you can see, it's a very dodgy start to the week, not just here, but up and down the country. It's quite a showery situation, but fear not, things are looking a bit, bit brighter and also a touch warmer as we head towards the end of the week, creeping into the weekend. So without further ado, let's take a look at the forecast for the Jubilee weekend. Today, in some places, it could be pouring. But don't worry, it'll only be in very isolated areas. <laughs> Heinz Salad Cream sponsors ITV National Weather. Well, as we head through the next couple of days, certainly prepare for more showers <laughs> up and down the country. But as I hinted, towards the end of the week, things will start to calm down as high pressure moves in. But it's low pressure, which is in control at the moment. And we can take a look at the pressure chart right now, and you can see it's not a very deep area of low pressure, but it's certainly enough to pull in those weather fronts. So we are going to see shower outbreaks break as we head through into tomorrow. As for tonight, again, no exceptions really. Further showers are on the cars, particularly out towards the western areas and the areas on Tuesday. But these are maybe drier for a time. Temperatures are also slipping into the figures, so certainly a slight chill in the air. As you head into tomorrow, those showers, which will be coming through fairly thick and fast, will start to turn a fair bit heavier out towards eastern parts of the UK throughout much of tomorrow. Temperatures are kind of uh, below average for the time of year, but they will start to gradually rise as we head through the course of the week. Snapshot of Wednesday, that's not looking uh, that great either. Again, further showers have been forecast, but it's towards the end of Wednesday into Thursday when we see this high pressure building in. So if we take a look at the outlook now, you'll notice it's a fair bit drier come Thursday and Friday, and also temperatures in the north and the south will start to climb back towards average a touch above, with highs of around 22 degrees Celsius expected out towards the southeast and across the capital, uh, as you can see. Well, Mary, there's no such thing as the wrong type of weather. Just a wrong type of clothes, just as well I had the rain back with me. All right, Alex, that's as long as it gets good for the weekend. Mm. Thank you. Mm. I find one of the most moving images of the rain in Queen <coughs> was a visible sadness when mm. the beloved Daniel Britton was taken out of service. So she may well be delighted that the town has been buffed, polished, and burnished to a spike, sparkling shine for Jubilee Week by some of her more devoted crew members. Our uh, Scotland correspondent Peter Smith reports. The Royal Yacht Britannia. Now a floating museum, but once the pride of Queen Elizabeth and her family. Today, that pride was for those who once served on board. These former yachts, yachties come out of retirement once a year to make sure everything is still shipshape on Britannia, as Her Majesty would expect. This is our second home. You know, we lived and breathed on this ship and everybody on board got on so well together and, and it's a, such a special place. William French served on Britannia between 1984 and 89. Few have seen the royals as he and his fellow yachties did on board. You could see the shoulders drop, the relaxation as soon as she walked through the doors here. And she was at home. <laughs> Launched the year after her coronation, the Royal Yacht was a floating palace, a place for duty, <laughs> for fun. When decommissioned in 1997, the Queen let go of her royal resolve for just a moment of public sadness. <laughs> Though now decommissioned, it was because of the dedication of the Royal Yacht Britannia Trust and the service of these yachties coming here voluntarily to maintain the Royal Yacht that we can still see it as the Queen remembers it. It is so tight that you don't you know, belong to this yeah, ship. It's like a family. We're so proud that um, we have a platinum year that we can actually be here and be 
part of it for her as well as the rest of the country. Let's face it, this was probably the most famous ship in the world. In the world. Every meeting of the Yorkies ends with the traditional talk of rum. But this year's toast on deck means so much more. Peter Smith, ITV News, Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Mass for now, Raggy Sunday's news at 10, but for me and all the evening news too. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> now, Eminence believes their award-winning mm. British summer flowers have the best, longest-lasting blooms. So I'm off to Lincolnshire to see how you do it. Hi, Matt. Hi, Lucy. Welcome back to Lincolnshire. Would well, you like to see some flowers? Oh. Let's have a look around. You've got some sunshine with you. Well, I tried. Matt, what do Eminence British summer flowers mean to you? It's all about seasonality. British summer flowers are constantly changing as the months go by. This is a sweet William crop. They last <laughs> ages in a vase. They smell really sweet and they come in this extraordinary range of colours. They're really vibrant, they're beautiful. How do you go about harvesting your flowers? Harvesting <laughs> is a real skill. They're all selected by hand, so flowers could be harvested here in the morning and heading to MS in the afternoon. It's critical to get them at just the right stage to make sure that they're perfect when they get to customers' vases because M&S are only looking for the very best flowers that we have. Get monthly tailored flea treatments with our Pets at Home subscription service. Or just £4 a month plus free delivery. Sign up in store at petsathome.com <laughs> Why do you always have to over-egg it? You're skinny dipping. 
Oh no, it's me. Yeah. The sheep's got stuck. Oh, well, you go back to. Yeah, it's okay, I'll take it. You can go back to the farm, we'll be fine, we'll... You sure? Sorry. Why did you say good luck? Oh, oh. they're what? Swimming and rambling? My mother went on a ramble. Where's Will go? He said he had a few jobs to do. What sort of jobs? He didn't specify. You know what I can? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, why don't you get up early? Why? What's the matter? Can't I just be a nice person? Uh -huh. Give you a cheeky half day. I thought you wanted me to just the skirting boards. I don't even need you. Just when you've got time later in the week. You work hard, Lydia. You deserve a break sometimes. Now, go. Well, I'm not going to argue with that, am I? Right. I'll pop these in the recycling on my way out. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. 